These are keyboard cams from the Linotype, and most of them are seated up solid. I have about 20 of them freed up here now. After soaking them in solvent and spinning them a while, the bearings are now clean and dry, and they spin freely. In fact, if you listen, they make sort of a squeaky noise because the bearing is completely dry. That's going to get a drop of oil on it later to stop that, but the fact that you hear that noise means the bearing is clean. I initially tried soaking them in paint thinner, and it really didn't do much. So I resorted to, well, what's in this jar is essentially naphtha, which is about equivalent to using gasoline. This one's been soaking in there for a little while, and it still doesn't spin freely. You flick it and it just doesn't move. But what I do to spin them, I've got a rubber sanding drum. This is a this is a, a rubber drum, and normally you would put a cylinder around there with sandpaper on it. There's no sandpaper on it now, so it's just bare rubber. But by using that, I can spin these. Definitely want to spin. As you can see, this one really still does not want to spin. Let's try the other direction. That's the end of That needs to sit in the solvent some more because it just does not want to spin. The other solvent I was using is lacquer thinner. Get the lid back on here. The lacquer thinner is much more effective, but it also evaporates a lot more quickly. This one is, again, a bit reluctant to turn. I should be able to get it to spin here. There we go. And you can see how once I pull it away, it just keeps spinning. That means it's finally freed up. Well, I can let this one dry out. It's not making that squeaking noise right now because there's a bit of a bit of the solvent still in the bearing that's acting as a lubricant. But once the, once the solvent dries out, this will make that funny squeaky noise as well. Try another one. This one here, I can almost spin it by hand. There we go. I didn't need the sanding drum to get it spinning. So, that one was fine without having to spin it too much. The other way to check that they're the way you want them is that as you rotate the frame, they should just rotate under their own weight. Well, that one's stuck a bit. There we go. Basically, you want them to drop down under their own weight because that's part of how they work in the actual line casting machine. Uh, left to right is the paint thinner and the naphtha and the lacquer thinner. And you can sort of tell the lacquer thinner is the one that got the most gunk off. Or perhaps it's just good at taking some of the copper oxides off the little brass wheel. It is sort of a greenish tint, which might indicate some copper contamination.